right, so you know, you, you know you're playing mystery guest, right? I am a mystery guest. And, uh, do, I mean, do you know who Just Howard is? Just ask my wife. <laughs> what? Do you know who Howard is? Do you know the show at all? I don't know the show at all, no. No? But I know how it is. How, how have you come to hear him? Well, I came to hear him because one of his uh, roving reporters caught me in 92, I think it was. Oh, really? And uh, I don't know the guy's name anymore, so no. Say hello to Howard Stern. And I said, hello. <laughs> and my wife says that Howard's very charming, so. You, what, your wife's a big fan of his, or a big fan of the show? I wouldn't say big, but <laughs> she liked the movie. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, and you know the premise of Mystery Guest, you go in there and you disguise your voice. He'll never know it's me. Do you think he'll guess it's you? No, not in a million years. What's the voice that you're gonna use? Oh, well, I'm not gonna show you, it's a mystery. <laughs> You'll only ever hear it on the show. All right, good. All right, so Ringo, we'll probably see you in a couple minutes. Hey, I'm ready. Thanks, man. Peace and love, brother. All right, it's time for Mystery Guest. We're going to put our blindfolds on. I don't know where Robin is, but we've got to play. Trying to Fred, you're playing? Yes. Okay. Wow. I think the Mystery Guest is Blues Traveler. Mm -hmm. Ah. All right, let's put these on. Let me, uh... I, mystery guest is always a weird thing for me because then I pull off the blindfold. I don't think Robin's in yet. I, I, well, what can I do? Oh, there she is. All right. Because I thought maybe Robin is the mystery guest. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe Robin and the mystery guest are the same person. <laughs> She's yeah. in the death pool. I'm it's Superwoman. Blindfold on. She's All right. The death pool. Is Fred, you're playing. You have a blindfold yes, on. I have Jackie, you have a blindfold on. I am blindfolded. Robin, you're blindfolded. I'm blindfolded now. All right. Let's play the game. Mystery guest is entering. All right. Cool. That's cool. I'm trying to smell the room to see if it's a woman or a man. Well, that's not fair because I can smell. Well, Ooh. I didn't tell you to sit over there. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get any advantage. You think with my giant nose I'd have super sensitive smelling. Yeah. And you do. Hmm. Okay. Mystery guest is set. All right. Who wants to go first? Want to go to uh, Jackie the Jokeman Marlin? Yes. Let him play. All right. When you get a no oh. answer, Jackie, then we have to continue. Uh, mystery guest, are you under 30 years of age? No. No. All right. That is I'm a no on answer. On a Fred? Roll. I'm taking it you're a male. Yes. He's Are disguising his voice. Are you in show yes. business? Are you yes. in show business? Yes, yes, yes. Would you be uh, seen more in film? No. Okay. <laughs> Robin, go ahead. So you would be in television? Sometimes. 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 So that's a yes. But you don't currently have a series? No. Can I get you guys a little on track? Okay. Yeah, please. Mystery Guest has been in films and has been on television, but that's probably not where you know Mystery Guest best from. Okay. Mm. Huh. Mm. Mystery Guest, would it be fair Wait to say... Minute, I got a yes, you. <laughs> no, you had a no. Yes, he said he doesn't currently have a series. That's a yes. <laughs> Double All right. negative. <laughs> All right, go ahead. All right. I thought so I heard a no in there. He's been in movies, he's been in TV, but we don't necessarily know him from that. But he's in show business. Mm -hmm. uh, well, the next obvious question... Question is Would you be a singer? Uh -huh. Yes. Oh. See, that's what I was going to ask. Darn. <laughs> okay. Do you sing rock and roll? <laughs> I know who it is. Yeah. Oh, shut up, Howard. I'm still on the floor. I figured it out. You you sing rock and roll. Do you have a current hit? No. Okay. I got to know. Go ahead, Howard. I be I'm going to take a guess. Are you a former member of the Beatles? Yeah. It's Ringo. Yeah. I knew it. Oh. Yeah. How did you know? I knew oh. it. How did you know? Number one, I recognized your voice. Yeah. That's number one. You went through my cup. <laughs> and, uh, oh. and I recognized your voice through a cup. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing you recognize his voice through yeah. a cup. Well, it's, well, it's Ringo. Well, it's Ringo's voice on oh. radio. Any person who, who grew up when I did doesn't know Ringo's voice. There's something yeah. wrong with them. I know Ringo's voice, well, but I didn't recognize did it through the cup. Hey, this is weird. I never, I've never been close to a Beatle That's before. Right. Well, well, I've never been close to you. Let me think about it, man. Let me, think about, let me think about how dynamic it is that you're sitting there. Yeah, okay. You are a big star. You're one of the biggest stars in the world. Woo Can I say something to you? You know you've aged better than all of the Any Beatles? Of the others. Yeah. yeah. Yes, You've I actually have. become the handsome Beatle. Well, <laughs> go figure. You know how everyone I always used to say. Else to go, you see. I, I'm serious, Ringo. Have you noticed that that uh, you know how everyone was always like, uh, Paul's Paul the cutest, the cutest or yeah, John's yeah. the cute one, or yeah. George? You are the cutest Beatle now. I am. You really are. He, I'm working he held out. He held out. Did you ever have any work done, like a nose job? Or, no. Or, are you kidding? I don't know. I, I, in the mirror. I see on TV, and you look good. Yeah. I tell you. Well, I feel good. I mean, I am doing all those things a little late, but I'm doing them. I'm working out. I'm heat. 
I'm eating good, you know, all those things. Yeah, right. And you're you're eating good, and you're working out, and you've become this good-looking beetle. I know. Is it great to be an ex-beetle? Yeah. It is. Oh, it's great words, to be a beetle, but it's good to be an ex-beetle, too. Yeah. It's great, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah, your life you is... you still have to get together for all those meetings, because there's so much beetle business. Well, well yeah. we have people who do the business. Yeah. Oh, is that right? And you just get the checks. That's one of the good reasons. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I, I think it would be difficult... Let me move this back. Yeah, go ahead. I think it would be difficult to be a Beatle, to get into the business for a second, yeah. uh, and have to deal with Yoko. Yeah. Uh, Yoko can be very difficult, but so can Paul and so can George. Right. And so can you're, I. Oh, I was going to really? say, you're the easygoing no, one? No, I thought you were the easygoing Beatle. We all have our day where, you know, <laughs> we have to do business together, but some days uh, one of us gets a flea up our nose, you know? Yeah. Jackie, how uh, how freaked out are you? That I, right? swear to you the I swear show. to you I have the chills. I don't think I've had it with another guest in here. <laughs> yeah. uh, Jackie, Jackie. Even Mickey Mantle sitting next yeah. to me. I, I got the chills when he said, this is Ringo. I'm like, jeez. Yeah, I, I got a little nervous, too. Good morning, Jackie. Hi, right. Ringo. I believe it. I couldn't believe it. I, I meant to complain. Blame you, Howard. Yes. That as big as you were, that we had never met a Beatle, and now I can't mm. bitch. Yes. But you, you answered a question wrong. You're not the singer. You're the drummer. No. Why? Yeah. Ringo he's sings a, a lot. Singer. He sings. Give me a break. No job Ringo has had some very singing. big hits. I know Yellow that. submarine. Yeah. And Lady my Madonna. Yeah. Act yeah. Sure, sure, sure. I understand all that. <laughs> he's a singer. Well, what, you what complain about I the game. We have a Beatle. Excuse me. What could I say? I'm arguing with a Beatle. Okay. Listen. What could I say? Are you singing? No. No, do you then sing is one thing. Yes, Are you, you a singer? Yes, I am a singer. Oh, yes, he is a singer. I am a singer. <laughs> How dare you? Yeah. I can't believe it. He's a dr- If anybody a said singer. to you... He's a musician and well, singer. that's like saying if Paul was on, he's only the bass player. Right. No, 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 no. Yes, Paul sing good. a lot of the music. If I had the Pope on, you'd kick him in the balls, <laughs> wouldn't you? <laughs> you probably ask him, was he a priest? <laughs> Ringo, uh, yeah. obviously you're here because of your new CD, Vertical Man, which yeah. I'll ask you about. But there's so much to ask you about. First of all, just all the women you've banged. Oh, I mean, that could take oh, up a two-hour yeah. show, couldn't it? <laughs> two minutes. Two minutes, please. <laughs> when you were, when you originally got famous, though, you were married, right, to Maureen? Yeah. Maureen Starkey. Yes. See, I know the whole history. Yeah, of course, we down. all do. And uh, at some point, it became so intoxicating to be a Beatle that it became hard to keep a marriage together. Am I correct? Um, no, my marriage didn't break down, actually, till we broke up. Really? Till the Beatles broke up. Oh, is that right? Yeah, I had three kids uh, in the 60s. You were married the whole time during the uh, Beatles thing? We got married in 65, and we divorced in 75. And you, you're telling me the whole time that the, the early Beatles and all that stuff? You didn't partake in all that? You didn't partake that? in the groupies and everything? Uh, uh, no, I'm not saying that. <laughs> <laughs> but you managed but to stay married. But a marriage. I did. Uh, right. Um, well, it, I was very active before 65. Right. So the point is that were you were you mad at yourself for getting married because here you were no. one of the hottest guys on the planet you you could have any woman you wanted it was difficult was it not no you know why because you couldn't trust anyone else really and Maury and I had you know started out uh, before I was in the Beatles really right and so you know it gets so weird when you suddenly become famous that you and that's okay for a while but then you realize people are only sitting next to you because of that right they don't give a damn about you right so it maybe yeah. became nice that you had maureen in your life because she wanted it you was, before you got famous yeah right yeah do you laugh at that guy uh pete best the guy is he the guy who left yeah he didn't really leave <laughs> <laughs> oh man i don't laugh no i mean pete was doing the gig and then i got the gig yeah, why you know did I mean? why did pete uh leave the band well they asked him to they did ask yeah. him to oh, they asked him to leave and me to join i had a gig already you know yeah did he ever come to see the beatles when, i don't know oh my god could you imagine I his life i think so would you you Ooh. know when all the time Are i used to go talk see to him i think so yeah. i'm not i don't remember but all yeah. i know is all, all the times I used to go see the Beatles movies, and I remember the first time I saw the first Beatles movie, uh-huh. help. and uh, yeah, help. And I remember, was, no, it wasn't help. Hard Day's Night. Hard Day's Night. Help I remember I was sitting in the theater, and girls were screaming. I couldn't even hear the movie. I mean, this is the movie. Yeah. If they put a close up on one of you guys, girls would just start screaming. Sure. And I was thinking how great it was, but then I said, you know, the movie I'd really want to see is the Pete Best story. What's happening yeah. to him? Like, where oh. is he right now? Well, what there is, you go. You could <laughs> make it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking yeah. about making it. Yeah, well, you should. Am I the only one interested in that? Now, aren't you? Yeah, but yes, I am. I'm a big movie star. I'm a great actor. Are you kidding? Well, Ringo, well, well Barbara Ringo thinks you're so charming. Is actor. that right? She said, Uh-oh. I think your wife is so hot. Well, you didn't see the movie. No, I'm sorry, but right, she right, said. Too busy. I'm uh, much too busy. Right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> she said, oh, he's so charming. Really? Yeah. 
Oh, Bob. No kidding. And she's wow. listening. Hi, Bob. Hi, Hey, darling. baby. Oh. Hey, sweetie. Yeah. <laughs> but Ringo could have very well said he was an actor. Uh, and well, <laughs> yes. Now, Bobby Eason. <laughs> being on my brain. Man. The Beatle movies were the, one of the most successful. That's right. In your head, I'm just a drummer. Oh, I know. no, 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 oh, no, no. <laughs> you're, you're a lot more than that. Robin can't deal with it. Jeez. All right, anyway, so. Um, all right. So you, when you get divorced, do you go wild now? Now that yes, you're, a, yes, absolutely you did. Balmy. You went wild, balmy. You had the the hottest women on the planet. Went mad, right? Jeez, and two sick. women, three women. I was a sick person. Is there a nationality of woman you haven't had? <laughs> oh. Ukraine, <laughs> really? <laughs> You've had black women? No. You have not. What? No, I haven't. Interesting. Oh. When it will? Are you prejudiced? No. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> right. Just never happened for no, you. No, it didn't happen. But you've had every kind of woman, and you've been well, in every not kind every of scene. I mean, give us a, you know, I've had several. Right, and you've had more How than one. How many at a time? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What are the most amount of women you've had at a time? Two. Ever have a man? No. Oh. Never. Oh. Never. Never went that Sorry, way. No. Could have had any man you wanted. Could have had any man I wanted, but no. Yeah, what about John? John. Never uh, had John. No, you never had John. <laughs> <laughs> so did John have, uh, what's his name? Um, Brian, Brian, um, Brian Epstein. Brian Epstein. Ask John. We can't. I'm trying to. Yeah. Ask Brian. <laughs> we can't ask him either. That's a yes. I wasn't there. That's a yes. I was not there. Were you shocked when that happened? Ooh. Well, what happened? You know. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> you tell me. Uh, oral sex you... between those two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, were you shocked? I didn't hear about it. Really? I mean, I read about it like you did, but I didn't hear about it. Right. <laughs> so, uh, at, w at what age did you become a millionaire? Were you like 20 when you were a millionaire already? Uh, no. Yo, I was in my 20s. Yeah. Did you ever expect I didn't join that? the band, you see, till I was yeah, 22. Oldest, That's right? true. Yeah. And, d and did you ever expect anything like that in your life? I mean, could well, you have we, imagined? I loved the band, and we were big in Liverpool, and we thought right. we'd get big in Britain, and we suddenly were big in Europe, and then we came to America, which was like the place to be. If you're a musician, there's only America. Right. And when you and stepped off the plane... And we with Murray the K and a number one hit. Yeah, right. And when you stepped off the plane the first Fabulous. time, you had no idea. No. no. I mean, and it was a rush. I mean, you could really enjoy oh, that. Oh, yeah. I, well, I enjoyed it as we flew over. Right. I mean, I felt like, you know, and it's just one of those images that have always stayed with me. As we flew over New York, and this was America, and we've never been before. Right. It was like this big octopus pulling me down. Wow. wow. It's fabulous. Wow. Yeah, and all those concerts. Oof. Well, the first time it was Ed Sullivan. Yeah. There they are, the Beatles. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just said, oh my God, it's huge. Yeah. Uh, did it you used to get mad at like Dave Clark Five for like, like sort of ripping you off? Did you care? No, I mean, didn't care. Didn't? No. Didn't even matter. No. What about the Stones? Did they piss you off? No. But did you uh, know I mean, the, the music? The press, you know, did that yeah. whole deal about Stones right, Beatles, right. but that that was not us. But did you, know, you know the early records they made? John and Paul wrote anyway. Right. Yeah. So you know, the, and we hung out together. Right. Not a lot. But Partied and out. everything. But did you know the music you were making was so important? Well, did no. You? Yeah. We were just doing our gig. You uh -huh. know. So the first time you come over to America, let's say you do the Ed Sullivan show, you yeah. got all these chicks. Uh, to me, the amazing. best thing about being a rock star is the girls. I don't oh, yeah. care what anyone well, says. Money is cool, but that is. Florida. We did the second show in Florida. Right. And that was much more Is that more the first fun. time you took advantage of your fame with a woman? I mean, Well, they, they took advantage of me. Right. <laughs> You're in Florida. They, they took me out in a Lincoln Continental and took me to my first drive-in. Let me understand this. Didn't see much of the movie. Let me understand this. You do a, you do a gig. Where, where was the gig in Florida? Uh, it was uh, the, Do uh, the Deauville Hotel. Okay. Yeah. You're there. I'm the we're and the, girls we're are waving and girls are trying to you know run after you and all that kind of stuff. So you hook up with what? You, that night well, you hook I, up with chicks? Yeah. And what were they? Just girls who were like just hanging the, around the hotel? Just the girls who were there. Local Lived girls. There. They kept, you know came in the dad's car or whatever. And I, what do you do? You invite them up to your room? They took me out. They took you out. They yeah. said, "Hey, it was Ringo." Easier to go out. If you got out, it was easier to you know just be around. Right. So you go to a drive-in actually. Yeah. In this car, in a limo. Well, this was the first time for me. I mean, that's Never been to one. one. Never been to one. Because England doesn't and have a lot of stuff. No, for God's sake, to? it's as big as this room. <laughs> right. So so you 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 go out in this limo, and they have sex with you, right? Just because right you're in the Right there Beatles. and then, Howard. Wow. Right there. Two of them. Two of them. Oh. Young. Amazing. Young, young beautiful girls. women. <laughs> young girls. Oh. Oh. Like they, they bang their heads together all all trying to please you. So long ago. <laughs> oh, man. And were you like, I've died and gone to heaven? Oh, man. Yeah. When you were a young guy, I mean, when you were like in high school and stuff, did girls go after you or were you, you were like an outcast? Uh, not like an outcast, but they, they weren't running after me. Right. What, what, how I old were you when you... I had several girlfriends, but, you know, nothing. How old were you when you first got laid? Were you, like, 14, or were you, like, uh, 20? 16. 16? Yeah. Mm. Interesting. Yeah, in the park. No kidding. It was great. <laughs> Damn. You know, and it's all that 
craziness because you don't really know what's happening. And then you got married a couple of times, right? After, after I you didn't get married a couple of times. You got married twice. Is yeah. that it? Yeah, that's it. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. But you and Barbara had to go into rehab and stuff together, right? Yeah. That was a whole heavy point in your life. Well, we, we uh, met in 1980, and we ended up in a rehab in 1988. Boy, I'd love to go to rehab with her. He'd <laughs> <laughs> like to go anywhere. With yeah, I really would. You. Your wife is so you damn hot. See the grin on his face, Bob. Uh, out of all the out of all the Beatles, you got the hottest wife. Yep. Yeah. You really did. Well, I got the hottest wife and the most loving, the most caring. You're not kidding. Yeah. Oh man. When you were in rehab, did you run to Christian Slater? Or you were there much earlier. Yeah, I was there. Earlier. <laughs> yeah. I did all the groundwork for all of them. So what were you into? Like drinking and doing coke and lots, stuff. Lots of booze and coke. Yeah. And coke. Yeah. Were those fun years? <laughs> well, they were at the start, but then uh, you run out of fun. You just end up in... You don't go anywhere. Were you bored at that time? Because here you'd done everything in life there was to do, and you had all the money you'd ever need. You, know, and how it, you don't know how it kicks in, because, you know, you have a drink as a kid, and as a teenager, right. and, and then you get over it, and then you take a bit of this and a bit of that, and you get over it, and, yeah. and then suddenly you're only doing that. Right. That's the problem. That's when it becomes the problem. Right. And you, were, and, and, and you, and, and, you and Barbara are faithful to one another? Yes. You never have a desire for I've, other women. I've never been unfaithful to really? my wife. Really? Never. Well, but I you never guys would I? That's true. What else yeah. do you need? Why would I? But you guys can't say what Paul and Linda said, that you've never spent a night apart or anything. No, we can't say that. I well, couldn't believe I think that. in the 18 years we've been together, we've only been separate about, in total, Uh huh. six months, five yeah. months. Yeah. And she keeps it interesting, though. Like, she'll dress up in different outfits oh, for you. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, every time I go home, she's uh, dressed in a new outfit. Because she <laughs> knows that you could you could uh, get any woman you no, want. but she knows I don't want any woman. She is the woman for me. Oh, she must look great naked. Yeah. Does she oh. work out all the time? She works out oh. like a dog. I wish you would have brought her in here. <laughs> well, no offense. That was the ch then you wouldn't have talked to me. No, I probably would have ignored you. <laughs> That's right. Beetle schmeedle. And she's great yeah. in bed, I imagine. Oh, he's got an album. <laughs> How do you meet her? Where did you meet her? We met her on the movie Caveman. I actually fell in love with her at LAX when her boyfriend was putting her on a plane. No kidding. And then you stole her away? You know have you ever been smitten? Uh, yes. Every it happens day. every day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been married 20 years, buddy. Yeah. I didn't have my so wild years. just all talk. I'm all talk, that's all. Okay. Yes, I've been smitten. Yes, I have. And that's what happened, you know. No kidding. And then my story, she tortured me for two months, and then we've lived together ever since. Made it difficult. Acted like she never heard of the Beatles, like well, Yoko did. She was expecting Dudley Moore. <laughs> oh, is that right? So what happens when you get together for a business meeting now, and Yoko uh, starts who? in, well, well John we would have wanted this. I don't John. go anymore. You won't There's go. No I, we did that. I send the lawyer and the businessman, and they do it right and at the at, the, at paul's uh wife's funeral linda you guys got together and reunited well we were all sitting in the church and we stood up and sang let it be i mean it wasn't like the three of us are up front is right. george well yeah, what, well george is very well right now thank okay. you did you see that in the paper that he has cancer no he, he had a a problem with cancer and he's had it removed oh he has yeah. so he's oh, fine so, so he's okay. good yeah oh he is good that's good to hear damn and why is Julian getting such a raw deal? John's son, do you think? Do you have any thoughts on that? I don't Yoko know. Yoko ought to give him some money, don't you think? Yeah. Well, I think she gave him some. She gave him a little more. Yeah. I think. I think she should be generous. She's worth every penny. And what was it like for you raising three kids? Did your kids expect you to just give them a bunch of money and then I not have to work or anything? Uh, the difficult with my kids was uh, they were from a divorced family. Right. And so, you know, they'd come on holiday with me and you overcompensate because of the divorce. Right, so you, give them, you spoil them. Well, I spoil them a bit, but I was also pretty tough on them, too. But you were? We get on well now. I see. Yeah, huh? <laughs> sounds like it's... You know, you think it's cool, like you say, hey, I'm Ringo. Yeah. My kids are going to think I'm the coolest dad on the planet. Yeah, but... Yeah. Like, my kids, I always thought they'd think I was the coolest dad, yeah. and they're totally embarrassed by yeah. me. Well, they mine, think I'm a jack mine are only sometimes embarrassed. Well, mine are all the time. <laughs> yeah, my, <laughs> my daughter would say, no, you're not doing Howard Hughes, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Howard Stern. <laughs> or Howard Hughes. Oh, yeah. Don't do either one. Yeah, don't yeah. do either one of those guys. <laughs> I said, yes, I am, but all the, my <laughs> sister-in-law, uh, Marjorie, she loves you. She does? Yeah. Oh. Oh, thank God. LA. Give so her, what are your give kids doing? Hello. Give her a shot, man. How you doing, yeah. baby? <laughs> what are Ringo's kids doing? Well, well, I know Zach was a guest on our show. Right, I know. We met yeah. him in He's London. a drummer yeah. like his dad, mm -hmm. and uh, he's doing real well. Now, what do you mean he's a drummer? Where does he drum? Where does... Uh, well, he, he was sport. with The Who. Right. He did that tour. That's he right. He just did some classical gig here. Right. right. And now he's out in England with a group called The Lightning Seeds, and they have the number one record right now. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, no kidding. So he's doing really well. Right. And my other son, Jason, is a drummer, and he's with a band called People's Friend. So everybody wants to be a drummer. 
So it's I don't know. You know, right. one I had one frightening moment because my daughter then became a drummer. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> but it only lasted a couple. Of, I thought, no, it's like science fiction, right? You know, and my stepdaughter Francesca is a bass player uh-huh. and a songwriter. And wow, uh, all musicians. Huh? Well, we got uh, well, three yeah. real musicians, mm-hmm. and then our, my stepson, our son Johnny, is like in, a drummer into business. Oh, really? Yeah, he's into cars and business. No kidding. Yeah. So, so when the Beatles broke up, yeah, back to them. You got to be, you got to be in a panic because you're saying, "Why the hell are we breaking up? We got the best thing in the world here. No, you're an we easy were, going we guy." We were breaking up because it wasn't working. The the situation between us wasn't working. We weren't putting the energy in. I, you know, just in my own case, I had a couple of kids now, and I didn't want to spend all that time in the studio. I blame Yoko. Well, oh, you blame oh, who the hell? You I like? blame. I'm blaming ah, Yoko for this. Okay. I think they were all bailing. Blame me. <laughs> I blame you, Ringo. Okay, it was my fault. I broke up the Beatles. And what is your day like now? Now, obviously, you put out a well, CD. This, that, the other thing you do music. But really, what are you? What are you up to? I mean, we must well, be talking about I'm a lot of money. I mean, you you got to be well, worth. What I'm up to now is I'm playing more than I ever did. I'm touring a lot. Yeah, but wait a second. I'm I making records. I think you're worth lots. 150 million minimum. Lots. Minimum, right? Yeah, okay, fine. Uh, am I, Whatever am I close? you say. No, I mean, you're a very wealthy man. Whatever you have, half it. You have homes, exactly. <laughs> you have you have homes all over the place, all right? All over the world. Well, only in uh, three countries. England? England. Are you a citizen of England? Um, I am a British citizen. I am a... Where do you I'm live? domiciled in Monaco. Okay. Why? Because that's a tax uh, thing. It is exactly right. You, you have, you a, have a home. Lovely place that's out there. A lot of rock stars do this. You have a home in Monaco. Yeah, and a the home reason, in England. A home and in England. A home in L.A. Now, right. what is the home in England like? Well, when they finish it, it's going to be great. It's yeah. a mansion. What do you think? <laughs> it's big. I'm just wondering. Big, is it big, a castle? Big. And it's just for you and Barbara. Just for Bob wow. and I. Oh, man. Yeah. I'd love to bang your and wife. Like, oh, now, how? Uh, what is that like? Let me bang her. Oh, what do you no, care? You've I had her enough. Not, <laughs> Come over here. I'll smack <laughs> you around. You. So, anyway, you, <laughs> you're, you're telling me that this home in England is a big mansion that you're building now. It's being renovated. And what do you have? You have a lot of help? We don't have a lot of help. We servants? A couple of, not a lot of servants. A couple of housekeepers. Right. Do you do anything for yourself? I do the cooking. You do? I love to cook. You love to cook, and that's what you do? I love to cook. And, 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 and how come uh, all the Beatles weren't knighted? I always wanted to ask you that. How come some Beatles were knighted and some weren't? Well, we all got the first medal. Yeah, Paul, but, Paul but Paul got knighted. Yeah, but he's, Why Paul and not you? I don't know. What are they I, saying? That you did not contribute as much as Paul? Well, he's contributed a lot lately. You know, yeah, since, so. Well, he did the school, and he's done a lot for charity, and he lives there. I don't live there. Well, that's true. You know. All right, okay. Okay. All right, I don't like it myself. I, well, I think that you all should have been knighted. I think everyone I, in America should write letters to the Well, country. I think that you've done as much for England and the prominence of well, music sure. in the world. I mean, sure. why not? All right, so wait a second. You've got these three homes. The home yep. in Monaco is a ruse, so you don't have to pay a lot of taxes. You know, I think in England, the taxes are 85% of well, your income. The, the taxes are probably the same as here. Are they? About 50%? Yeah. That's the, yeah. it's So in Monaco, what are they? There isn't any. Whoa. Oh. Well, why don't I become a citizen because in Monaco? you're American you and you here? can't do it. <laughs> I can't? It doesn't work for you. Why does it work for you and not for me? Because I'm English. Wow. So it's better to be English. Only if you want to live in Monaco. And you pay zero taxes a year. In Monaco, right. In other words, let's say you make let's say you make interest I on make, your money. Yeah. Let's say you have one hundred fifty million dollars and you get interest. No, there's no. You pay tax. zero. There's, there's no nothing, tax. Nothing. <laughs> oh. Nothing. How do they keep that place running? Uh, well, with the VAT, the value added tax, and yeah. and the casino. Yeah. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> Got to spend some time in Monaco. I could live like a beetle. Really? Yeah. I tell you. Well, I'm sure you do now. And the place in Monaco is nice, right? Very nice. Actually. And who hires these housekeepers to help you out? Uh, your well, wife. But your wife doesn't allow cute girls in the house, though, to work, do you? Well, I must admit, we don't have any cute girls. Right. She keeps those away. <laughs> <laughs> you never get and it. It wouldn't matter if she did, you know. Right. When you, you go on trust tour... me implicitly. When you go on tour with your band, will you, uh, will you bring your wife? Uh, most of it, yes. Sometimes you'll be alone. Sometimes I'll be with the band. Interesting. <laughs> What's interesting. interesting about? I don't know. I don't know. It's like a bad movie. There's, oh, interesting. Yeah. There's like something interesting like going on here. Yeah, let me see. Inspector Cluso, yes. What and and uh, let, let, let someone speak to you who's a huge fan. This is uh, Lynn. She's freaking out that you're here. And Shall she, I uh, disguise my voice? Yes. Hi, Lynn. Lynn, go ahead. You're on the air. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's me, Lynn. Well, here, oh Lynn. God. It still happened. Here, look at that. Goodness. You never lose that. D- don't tell me you don't. When you go home, how can you be normal? I mean, uh, when someone... Well, goes, this has been happening for a long time. Oh, my God. You, right. 
you know. Oh, Lynn. Oh my God. Is this Lynn or is this a tape? Oh, Ringo. Oh my God. Put me on. No. I love loves you, man. Are you good looking? Oh my God. Don't get too worked up. Lynn is 53 years old. Oh my God. Oh my God. I love you. Lynn, how old are you? I can't believe I'm talking to you. How old are you, all, Lynn? I'm 28. You're 28. Yes. And how much do you weigh, Lynn? About 120. 120. How tall? Um, five seven. Five foot seven. Are you a good looking woman? Uh, yeah, I guess so. How oh big my are you, God. How big are your breasts? What cup size? <laughs> oh, they're big. Ringo needs to know. They're big. And you're a white woman? Yes. Uh, oh, Ringo, Ringo only does oh, white women. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Never had a black woman. I can't believe I'm talking to you. Well, now that you're speaking to Ringo, and this is an obvious rare chance, say? what would you say to him? Oh, my God. I love you. Oh <laughs> I, can't, I can't talk. I can't well, talk. What is it about Ringo? What, what do you well, love tell about? us what you oh love about Ringo. I, oh my God, I can't talk. <laughs> How come Ringo can have short hair and he looks good? Why can't I? Because you're, you're, you're a chicken. You won't, you I'm living sure. in the past. Awesome. Were you afraid to you're cut your hair? You're afraid of the future. Were you afraid to cut hair. your hair, Ringo? No. <laughs> you were not. <laughs> Usually when I'm, you know, uh, depressed, I mutilate myself in some way. Right. And I, I cut my hair. No, you look great. I mean, why can't I do that? Everyone is well, why telling don't me. You? Because people are telling me I would look odd. Well, with what are you doing? You're listening to people. I am. You've got to be crazy. I'm a follower. I can do I do this myself. I have always wanted to do you in four minutes. You cut your own hair. Yeah. Let Ringo cut your I, hair. I will not sit <laughs> in the barber's Wow. Chair. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Uh-oh. The Beatles the in the Beatles. early years. Oh, the Beatles. No, listen to me. Come on. No, no, this is an important oh. question. We're not moving on until I'm ready. Listen, oh, yeah. I'm in show charge. Show yeah, it's I'll my show. What I like. Listen to me. Because then I want to listen to your new song. Okay. But listen to me. Go on. When you guys, in the early years, you've seen each other naked, right? All the Beatles have been nude together. Oh, sure. True? Because you guys oh. used to live in the same place and all that. I have no big vision of us all being naked. But all right, but on. who was the longest, I mean, who was the largest Beatle? Me. You were? Yeah. Seriously? Wow. I, I'm, I'm the big one. You're really hung. I'm the biggie. Is that a lie or is that true? You know, I haven't really inspected the others. Because I've seen uh, John. I said John was doing like he did that photograph. John was naked. Yeah, but I believe he was a little bit aroused in that uh, picture. Mm, oh, go! <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what I would do. You know, if I was going to go on in front naked, I would be a little bit aroused. Yeah. I see. But you seriously, you are the biggest one. I don't know. I'm just bullshitting. You are. No, no, nothing no, wrong with that. No, I mean, no, I you never you. sort of said, "Oh, we've got nothing to do. Let's measure ourselves." Never. Never, never. bona fide or anything like that. Never. 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 Okay. Okay. All right. Well, I thought maybe there was. <laughs> All right. Well, you got to speak to Ringo. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. You just uh, made my life. Right. Ringo, okay. I love you. Right, thank, thank you. you thank you. Have a wonderful life. Funny, George told me he was the largest. Yeah, really? well, who is the largest in your group, Howard? Uh, here? Certainly not me. I'm very tiny. <laughs> yeah. I have nothing. <laughs> Hung like a pimple. It's me, it's me Ringo. Uh, yeah, it would be Gary, I think. Uh, Jerry, go ahead. Hey, what's up, Ringo? Uh, Love nothing. you, man. Uh, being well, thank you. As uh, you know, Ringo has a new CD out. That's why he's here. He's not here to uh, waste no, his time. No, he just come here. No, there's no reason uh, to just come in. Uh, <laughs> no, I hear people do, though. I, I hear people just pop in. Yeah, but they yes. have to. But, but you don't have to. Uh, the CD, Vertical Man, uh, the single is la di da la di da What does la di da mean? That life is like la di da Well, you know, when things get tough, you've got to let go sometimes. When there's absolute places that you just can't change, you know, the easy one, the traffic light, it's red, it's going to stay red. Till it changes, la di da, let it go. No good getting angry. No good getting. That always seemed to be your attitude. Attitude, la di da. Yeah. Well, no big deal. Seems I live my life because I can't live your life for you, and no one else can. You. See. And while this is coming out, rumors are swirling that and when the it rains, I'm like a train. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, you seem to have a pretty carefree life. I don't life. complain. I just keep moving on. Yeah, it sounds great, man. What do you do all day? You just like you... I'm doing this. No, no. What do no, you do all day? You wake up, you have you a little do. breakfast. Yeah, I do the, what you do. We do you go to the gym? We go to the gym. Uh, but depending which country, we have our own gym and a couple of homes. Oh, that's nice. But in Monaco, we go to the gym. You go we to the gym. Spend a couple of hours, work out, have a swim, have a steam. This is every have day. A juice. Not every day, no. Right. Three, it's an easy three, life. Four times is the most. Right. You have a little juice. Yeah. You have a little this. You have a little yeah, that. Little that. Yeah. Wow. Go home, meet friends, go to dinner. Watch a movie. Well, whatever, listen to records. Do you go to the TV. movies or do they deliver the movies to your house? No, no, we have to go. You do go to a movie. Well, I go to the And when you go to a movie, people recognize you, but yeah. it, they but don't bother you. fine because they know you're at the movies. Right. You know. hmm. No drink, no drugs, obviously. Obviously. Just sex. Yes. Wow. wow. Uh, How many times a week do you have sex with your wife? Depends on the week. Mm. More than three? Still to this day. Still to this day. Wow. wow. Uh, it's good. 
That's an amazing story. Are you listening to this, love? There's a rumor from page six today that the Beatles are reuniting with uh, with with Sean Lennon. No, Julian. Listen. Julian. Is it Julian? Yeah, but that's not true. Julian said that. Oh, Julian said that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wishful thinking on He's his part. He's got a record out too. Does he really? I know Sean has a record yeah. out. They all have a record. Every, everyone has a record out. Who's in the band? Anybody I know? Well, on the record, mm -hmm. you'll know uh, some of the singers, and the guitarist is Joe Walsh, Paul singer. Oh, you're still with Joe? Yeah, wow. Joe's my friend. I can't even find Joe, Joe was anymore. With me. Did you watch Leno last night? No. Well, they, I was you asleep. Seen I, Joe and my band. Oh, no kidding. I didn't, oh, you were on Leno. I was on Leno. Yeah. Right. Why was uh, Steven Tyler replaced on the, your album with Tom Petty? Because we got a message that uh, told us that uh, we've got to take Steven off. Why? Well, we've never got to the bottom of that, mm. uh, and I've, Stephen hasn't phoned me, so how are you doing, Stephen? I hope your leg's better. <laughs> Were you, are you mad at him? Well, at the time, because they actually did it a little late. You know, we'd mixed it and mastered it, and oh. then they decided. And, and could but a guy... la -dee da da that was the great thing. We said, hey, la -dee -da. I'm not going to go mad. la -dee da Really? Is that we true? Change. And I called a fabulous guy called Tom Petty. He's great. I said, Tom, he said, I'll do it. Right. I said, I haven't told you what it is. He said, I'll do it. Wow. And that's the friends you need. Sounds like Ringo's got a few showbiz enemies. Well, he's I making them know. along the way. Yeah, he's making <laughs> them along the way. <laughs> Who do you hate in this enemies. business? Who do you hate in the music business? Seriously. I don't really hate anyone, Howard. Really? Is that really? true? No, it's really true. It's a lot of energy to hate somebody. Wow. You're really into all that love crap, love huh? Love and peace. Really? You That's always worry about it. Love and peace. You still really. meditate? Uh, not as much as I should. Yeah. Hey, you learned how to do transcendental meditation, right? Yes, I did. Sure. Yeah. yeah. I've been doing it 20 years. Yeah. It's you hard to find that half hour. <laughs> what you, <laughs> between, between the saunaing and the steaming in the gym, <laughs> it's very hard. <laughs> Ever feel up like Mia Farrow out there when you were... Uh, yeah, no. Never got it on with her? Never. Well, we weren't into feeling people up when we were meditating. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do that? <laughs> you can't meditate and feel people up. That oh. wasn't the objective. Uh. <laughs> you get a lot of famous women, too, before, you know, when you were single? What? Did you meet a lot of famous women? Yeah. Yeah, huh? Still do. Really? Yeah. No, but I mean, you could you have know, sex with really them. really nice, Sharon Stone. You had sex with her? No. 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 I just met her oh, a couple of weekends ago. Where do you meet a Sharon Stone? Well, I met her in the south of France, and we did this charity for Amphar, and she was just such a nice person. And, and you just talked to her at the charity? Did you get together with her afterwards? Like, did she come over to your house, or no, uh, nothing like that? I met her the night before at Elton John's house. Oh, you, you hang out with Elton, right? <laughs> they have big parties and stuff? Wow. Wow, what a life. Yeah, who does he hang out with? Yeah, who do you hang out with? Do you hang out with Elton a lot? I hang out with Barbara. That's who I hang out with. Yeah, but you go to like Elton's house for parties? Yeah, if we're in the same town, we hang out. You know, we've been friends for many years. Wow. Elton never hit on you? Oh. 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 No. He didn't? No, he never did. I'm surprised. Actually. Yeah. I think the two of you would look good together. Uh -huh. I mean, not that you go that way. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. And you, you and you hang out, let's say, with the Sharon Stone at the party. No, I just said hello, and, uh, and it, you know, you were talking about people who had met, and lately I just met her, and she was really nice. And did she show her beaver, like oh, she did in that movie? Yeah. Oh, dear, oh, dear. No. She doesn't do that no, unless she didn't she's in a movie. Either. Did she cross and uncross her legs? <laughs> no, not once. Wow. <laughs> And what about the, uh, hey, you still doing, what was that thing with the railroad conductor? You were doing like a kid show for a while, right? Uh, yeah, Shining Time Station. You, you're not you doing, know everything here. Yeah, Fred knows yeah, everything hey. about you. Fred's uh, got a hard on for you. Uh, uh, no. yeah, I mean, he's, like, he's a fanatic. Uh, you know. I did that from 1984 to 1989. Wow. I, you know what, man? I just want to take this opportunity because I never met you before. I never know if I'll see you again. Thank you for, uh, all, in my childhood, the Beatles were probably maybe one of the most important things to me. And, uh, I mean, I remember the summer I first heard Sergeant Peppers, I was at a summer camp, and I couldn't wait to get home just to just to be with the album you and listen what, to it. When I right. was, when yeah. the well, you know, first that's what out. carries on. The music, yeah. is, no matter where we go as individuals, the actual the records are still yeah. doing their gig. Well, I mean, yeah. uh, the Beatles meant so much to but me, man. Sold but so the many music of those... now, you know, the people who never saw us, the kids of today, they're still playing it. Right. That, that's the bit I love about the yeah. whole. It is wild, man. Yeah. I mean, your albums that are is amazing. They, they they still they put out compilations now, and they're like number one on the charts. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's music that'll live forever. And you know yeah. what, Howard? We're hoping my new album, Vertical Man, goes to number there one. You know. Well, let's certainly hope well, you so. Know, when I was a kid, yeah. we used to all have these little 9-volt transistor radios. You sold more of those little radios because yeah. we used to stand on the street. Our parents wouldn't let us play in the house. We yeah. used to stand yeah. on the street and listen to the beat. You know, that was one of the great moments when we first came to America that we could actually 
put in the earphone, yeah. listen to it, and dial Murray the K or whatever right. it was. Yeah. And we had nothing like that in England, you know. Right. I mean, the communication, the radio situation in the 60s was just phenomenal. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was like... It was, it was just, amazing. We had, you know, the huge suite at the pods with every TV on. <laughs> Man. <laughs> and you know what's it's weird, right. too? It's like, I, I mean, the, the I don't have many memories of a, as a kid growing up. For some reason, I seem to have blocked them out. Mm. But uh, I remember sitting on my bed, and my mom came in, and I had Sergeant Pepper, and I'm sitting there. She's listening to the album with me, and I'm explaining the lyrics to her. We're, we're trying, we're reading. This is, I'm doing something with my mother. Yeah. And, like, we're yeah. just totally into it. I mean, it was like a huge event, man. So, I mean. Oh, I remember, you know, dragging uh, your parents to the TV to I show mean, them the Yeah, I mean, Sullivan. so many damn memories, man. But thanks, you know, I mean, it's just kind of cool to meet you. I, I, I can't believe it, really. It's. It's really great that you came in here. Well, thank you, Howard. It's been yeah. a pleasure. That's yeah, great, Ringo. Ringo Starr's new CD, Vertical Man, is actually in stores now. Right. And guests on the CD include Stephen... Oh, Stephen's off. Well, Stephen he's Tuff. playing drums on one track. And he's right. singing harmonies. He plays great harmonica on Love Me Do. Okay. Ozzy Osbourne. Ozzy's on it. Great guy. Yeah, Paul, Desertion. George. Scott Weiland. Scott Weiland. Oh. Just saw him. Oh, you know, every time I see this guy, he goes right back into rehab. Well, <laughs> he was uh, vertical on my record. <laughs> he was. And, you know, yeah, he's God bless Beatles him. Fan. He's trying to get vertical again. Right. He, it must have been exciting for him to be on the album because he's yeah. a huge fan. Huge fan. Well, yeah. he, you know, I'm always grateful that all these people came. Alanis back. Morissette. I know. She knocked on the door. We got her on the road. Yeah, she's <laughs> great. Uh, yeah. Tom Petty, Brian Wilson. Yeah. Paul McCartney even agreed to be on your album. Yeah. Wow. Uh, Joe Walsh. Joe, a, of He used to be a friend of our show, but we don't hey, know we where he is. We don't talk to Joe anymore. He doesn't yeah. talk to Since us. he got sober, he's all serious. Well. Cut his hair, became like a businessman. Well, he Doesn't still plays you know, great we're, guitar. We're part, yes, he does. You know. you know what we are? We're part of the past that he can't revisit. Oh, man. <laughs> well, he <Yeah>. will. <laughs> Maybe no. he can. Is that you part of rehab? Just give him a break for, for a while, <laughs> yeah. and then he'll get back into it. When you're one of the most famous guys in the world, and you go into rehab, did they have, you, have you cleaning toilets and junk? Well, uh, doing the laundry and cleaning the ashtrays. Wow. Really? Yeah. And did you get pissed off at that? <laughs> uh, not not really. Yeah. And it works, the, rehab? The one... It worked for me so far, day at a time. Really? The main problem I had was the damn newspapers had helicopters circling above. Uh, yeah, <laughs> puts a little pressure on you. Yeah, just a bit. Were there a lot of famous people in there with you? No, not. It was just regular guys? No, yeah, just regular guys. And were they busting you your Betty balls? Ford or no, they weren't because we're all there for the one reason. We're all mm -hmm. sick and we wanted to get better. And and were you at Betty Ford? No, I went to Sierra Tucson in uh, oh. Arizona. You know, i got to get on drugs just so I can go to rehab. I know, it seems yeah. to be fun. Yeah. I know, well, and you, you, know, you meet cool here, people. You know, cut your hair, get on drugs. <laughs> No, <laughs> I got to go the other way. Anyway, Ringo, thanks for coming in. The great Ringo Starr's new CD. Vertical Man is in yeah. stores now. Go buy that album. Ooh. And uh, thank you, you for coming tour? in. I'm touring Europe and Russia with the All Stars this year. Russia? Why do you want to go there? Well, it's There's no gig, toilet paper. You know. Well, how do you know? Have you been? Uh, no, I'm <laughs> well, not going. Don't give me that. Please, no, I, I'm not going to Russia. Have changed. I only like America. I go there. I go to England once in a while yeah. if I have to. That's <laughs> nice over you. there. <laughs> Broads are a little fat over there. Oh, <laughs> they got to work out a little more, but they're okay. Yeah. That's all right. Yeah, I'm such a charmer that uh, <laughs> you know what I mean. Oh, so <laughs> I'm so good looking, I can say that. All right, anyway, the great Ringo Starr, yeah. everybody, check out Vertical Man, the single La Di Da. And thanks for coming in, Ringo. Okay, Appreciate thank it. Thank you. Thank All you, right. gang. Ringo, everybody. Ringo, uh, before yeah. you leave, will you cut two very quick IDs just for the Stern show? Can you do those things? Please follow me, please. Thank you. Uh, very simple, just identify yourself. My name is Ringo. You're listening to the Howard Stern Show? Okay. And whatever else you'd like to say. We leave it loose, you know. This is Ringo, you're listening to the okay, Howard Stern Show. Okay, let me just see what I can think of. My name is Ringo, and you are listening to the Howard Stern Show, and so am I, on a daily basis. Great, and the other one is, um, Howard's going to be... Is 45? 45. 45. Howard's going to be 45 in January, so we're going to play this on the morning of his birthday. So identify yourself. Okay. Wish him a happy birthday. birthday. Okay. Do you want me to tell you how old he is? Yeah, happy birthday. Okay, okay. Hi. Hi, Howard. Happy birthday on your 45th. This is Ringo, wishing you all the best and a great life. That's perfect. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Josh, thanks.